Hello, this is Daryl from Oakwood Homes, and today I bring you a video tour of number 103 Byron Avenue in Margate. Very conveniently located for the QEQM Hospital, very popular with buy to let uh, investors and first time um, buyers as well, um, as well as um, a nice family home to um, get you moving up the uh, property ladder. Um, so um, the old town is approximately or less than a mile away. So, you know, 10, 15 minute walk. Um, Dane Park is close by as well. And the seafront is just beyond the old town as well. Um, so I'm also gonna take you around the property um, and um, just give you some sort of, um, guidance and some room information um, about the property. If it is a property you wanna have a look at, then we have keys, it's um, ready to go, there's no chain. Um, and um, just give the office a call on 01843 221133. A few items to note, it's double glazed, it's centrally heated, and it also has off-road parking, which is really rare in this area, um, with a nice long garden. And also the roof was replaced about a year ago. So um, one of the major expenditures of a property of this age and type has actually been taken care of already. So with that um, left, um, I will just turn around so you can see there's sort of a um, double glazed front door. And then to here we have the main living room, which is 11 foot by nine six, but that is not into that bay just there. So it is a bigger room than that. It's an artificial, um, it's not an open fireplace. Plenty of sockets in here as well. Looks like the telephone straight Wi-Fi point is in here as well. See the radiator in this sort of a laminate floor here at the moment. Property was rented, has been for a while. You've got the stairs up to the first floor to the three bedrooms. And I'll take you into the kitchen. It's big enough for a small table just here. You're probably gonna to wanna to change the kitchen but it's a nice, easy shape. Um, that door, just to the far side over there, takes you down to a small cellar, um, just takes you towards sort of the front door. Um, it's very dark down there, so you're not gonna be able to see anything, so I didn't think there was any point in trying to take you down there. Um, but uh, you've got space for a washing machine um, in here as well, I'm gonna have built in, so over there. Um, here's the family bathroom which is big, um, as you can see. I'm sorry, the kitchen, I didn't measure that, give that measurement, that's 14 one by 10. Um, so here's the bathroom. Uh, bathroom is 10, seven by six, five. Um, quite a large sink unit with cupboards under, so it's really handy for storage, bits and pieces. Um, and then you've got a panel kind of bath and there's sort of a shower attachment over it. It's a really nice size family bathroom there as well. Then you've got this sort of dining area or second seating area, depending on what you need. Um, and this is 11.175. It's got quite a handy um, skylight window there to obviously bring in some lights and make it not dark. I mean, these walls are painted black. You aren't missing anything. Um, and there's still, it's quite light in here as well, and the light going into the kitchen comparison. Mm. Outside here, it might as well be better as we're here. Um, the rear garden in total is about 100 feet. Um, it's very low maintenance. So currently you've got this sort of patio area here, this large shed. And then you've got all this area here, which leads to these double gates to um, the rear access, which provides off-road parking. So you can get a sort of a depth of the size of the shed. So it's a nice big shed, plenty of room. And then if I just take you there, you can actually see the new roof on the property as well. As you can see, it's by far the newest roof nearby um, and does um, obviously save you a lot of money going forwards that um, that has been done by the seller. It's completely enclosed and safe. 
there's plenty of room to build a garage or um, home office out here. Um, really is um, a blank canvas for you. So, um, and that's obviously quite rare um, to have that real access there. So we'll take you back inside and we'll take you up to the three bedrooms up on the first floor. As you would expect, stairs are quite sharp on these, but typical of this style of property. We'll go into bedroom one first, which is the largest of them, and that's 14 by nine. Got a lovely feature fireplace in here as well. Double glazed window, built-in cupboard there. 